Yes. I don't show again. Now, you empire be this. Oga IG. <laughs> How body do you? But they don't they pepper you, they pepper you, they pepper you. That's why you just they bounce different friend team for social media. You just they talk different friend news. How your men go take go back to streets. You know why? It was so obvious to you that even without the policemen be on duty, Nigeria was still go, going calmly. The reason why you are being you, you just as in the reason why you are killing yourself is because your men are already hungry. That will show you that we are the one who is feeding you. So for that reason. You must respect Nigerians. Number one, you are a Nigerian. But it was happened that you are into the military, which is the force, the, the whatever the force, the police force. So how it is? I, it is obvious that you are already hungry. Because I even saw some of your policemen, they are, they are already looking tattered. Their hunger is already killing them. Because if they don't stand on the road, they will make money. That means Nigerians, Nigerians are the ones feeding the police. That will tell you that even those that even those people that you, that you, that you people we are fighting for that you want to come and kill the youth for, the people that you are even fighting for they are not even paying you a good salary, and it is so it is so obvious that your your men they are so illiterate. To, most of them are so illiterate. To the rest that they don't even understand that even the same youth they are fighting against is even fighting for them for their salary to be increased. You see now you want your men to go back to the to duty. And by then you are not telling them that if anybody touch them, they should defend themselves. Yes, they should defend themselves. They're going to defend themselves with their gun, right? And defending yourself as a as a police officer with your gun means that beating the person or shooting the person. But let me correct this, Mr. IG. Let me correct this, or got senator, or got counselor, or got representative, or got chairman, or got king, chiefs, and others. I don't even know. Let me just correct this. The IG has instructed his men to go back to work before they die of hunger. That is not the problem. The problem here and I is this. Mr. IG, Mr. Police Officer, as you are instructing, as you are coming back to duty, be careful with the youth. Be careful with the youth. If you want to make arrests, arrest. Don't shoot our youth. Don't brutalize our youth. Because let me warn you, let me say this to you loud and clear. If you people try to come back to duty and you want to start using your gun as a duress to the youth, you want to start using your gun to murder the youth. <laughs> By then, the riots and the war that is going to happen between the youth and the Nigeria police will not definitely end Nigeria. You know what? IG. You were boldly, you were so confident of opening your mouth to say that you lost 22 policemen during the protest. And your brain so ignorant to forget that you have your men have taken the lives of more than 200 youths in this country. You forget that. When, the, when your men were taking lives, when you were doing videos, going around, you did not react. The highest thing you would do, you would transfer the policeman to another session and you come and tell us that the case has been handled. Mr. IG, you feel the pain when your men were murdered during the protest. And now you are, you're, you're, you are making a wreck of those that went to take um, a COVID palliatives than those that uh, smuggles a warehouse. For me, that is your business. That is your business. But let me warn you, as your men are coming back to duty, advise them wisely. Train them wisely. And please, those that need to further their education, let them go for more training. Because, because, if they come back to duty and resume on their lives, on their, on their lives of the youths, or maybe trying to harass us in our own country, or try to brutalize, brutalize us in our own country, or trying to intimidate us in our own country, or trying to use duress on us in our own country because they are holding guns. The men, men, and women like us, we descend on them. Then by then, by then, maybe the police force will be scrabbled. So, Mr. IG, <laughs> as you are educating them to defend themselves, anybody touch them. Tell them not to touch any youth. Police should know when they are called 
to come and do arrest. And calling a policeman to come and do arrest does not grant a policeman to be hitting a youth with gun or to be brutalizing or to be flogging them. They don't have no right. We are on democracy and democracy means freedom. We are not slaves to the Nigeria force. We are not slaves to the Nigeria police. So warn your men very well. Warn them very well. Warn them very well. This is a second chance. If they try it on the youth again to brutalize us, then they will find yourself to be regrets. And that's for the government. We are still waiting for you to come up with our requests. And mind you, mind you, youth, this time around, it's not time to film, to be videoing why a youth is dying silently in the hands of the first men. No. You know what to do. And I know what to do. If worse come to worse, Nigeria youth and Nigeria police is going to end Nigeria once and for all. So, Mr. IG, keep on your advice. Keep on your instruction. Keep continue. But let it not be on the Nigeria youth. Look at my hair color. If any of your officer try stop me on this hair color, then I will let him know that he's not the one that is working my money that I'm using to take care of myself. Being beauty is not a crime. Looking good is not a yahoo. If a yahoo man